Looks like Prince Harry's drug-infused visa headache is not over yet. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signer here with attorney John Witherspoon. Thanks for being here, sir. How you doing? I'm good, Andy. How are you? Welcome I am home. great. I, I, if the followers of our channel should not be surprised to hear that, yeah, this headache's not over. The Heritage Foundation has filed an appeal, correct? A motion of appeal uh, after the previous uh, sort of ruling. I guess let's start there, John, just so people have the update of what happened. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's over. A lot of media outlets are saying, it's over. Da, 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 da. Prince Harry's won. That's not what happened, right? And now officially an appeal has begun. Can you explain the, the next step here? Yeah, just briefly to recap what happened. Uh, Heritage Foundation sued the uh, Department of Homeland Security and the State Department to try to get access to uh, Harry's visa uh, and immigration documentation. And their argument was, hey, he's no longer entitled to a, a, his right of typical right of privacy because he basically told everything about himself in his book. And we're interested in finding out if either A, he lied on his application about his drug use and was granted entry into the United States, or he told the truth about his drug use and then he was given some sort of special treatment. So that all went to trial. Judge Nichols, who is a district court judge in Washington, D.C., for the fed in the in the federal court, uh, heard both sides of the arguments and read all of the documentation that had been submitted, all the briefs and so forth. And he came down with a ruling that said uh, he has not basically, I'm paraphrasing, but he has, he has not waived his right to privacy. He is still entitled to it. And therefore, I am ruling in favor of the U.S. government to keep Harry's visa documentation uh, private and, and sealed up. So uh, shortly after the case ended, uh, Heritage Foundation sent... Um, a uh, a filing to the court in which they said, um, we feel like uh, you, you were, we're interested in filing an appeal of some sort. We'd like a little bit more time. The time was granted. And then yesterday, we were uh, able to see the filing of a uh, motion for a 59, Rule 59E um uh, proceeding and Rule 59, uh, I should explain, the courts just like you know sports that you're playing, you know football, basketball, whatever. There are rules that you have to abide by. <clears throat> Rule 59 says that if one of the parties in the case, and in this case it's the Heritage Foundation, is not happy with the way a judge ruled, and they plan to ape to file an appeal. Before they go through all the time and expense and, uh, you know, the, the motions and the complications of filing an appeal, they can go back to the original judge, again, Judge Nichols in this case, and say, hey, dear judge, we feel like you dropped the ball. You made a mistake in various Judges parts must of love your... that, by the way. <laughs> well, it's better. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mixed blessing because on the one hand, um, yes, it's more work for them. But on the other hand, it allows them to correct a potential mistake before an appellate court comes along and says, you know, we're going to reverse you because judges really don't like to be reversed on appeal. So in any case, uh, they have gone back to Judge Nichols and said, hey, we think that when you decide this case, you left so much information confidential and your ruling had so many parts of it redacted that it me it it meant that it was uh, an unfair prejudice to us. We don't have the ability to understand your ruling. We did not have the ability to fight back against some of the things that um, the other side put forward. In fact, we think that some of the information is a little sus potentially. So we want to give you the opportunity or we are requesting that you go back, vacate your ruling, vacate your motion at the end of this case and give us another decision 
that we hope will be more favorable to us. Now, obviously, the judge does not have to do that. The judge can say, no, I decline to do that, um, at which point I'm sure the Heritage Foundation would probably file an appeal with the United States Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit in Washington. But uh, for the time being, they have asked him to just go back and say, hey, we think you screwed this up. Take another look. And also, we would like an opportunity to come in and provide some oral arguments where we can actually do some Q&A back and forth between the court, the, the, court, the bench, the judge, the plaintiffs, and also the Department of Homeland Security and the State Department. So I think yeah, that's my, my guess what, is, where do you think this will go when the judge is ruling? Yeah, I think the judge is probably going to, at a minimum, allow them to do oral arguments. I think hmm. there will probably be another hearing in a courtroom. Um, the judge may or may not be persuaded to make a change in his ruling, at which point, as I said, it'll probably be appealed to an appellate court. But for the time being, the case is still alive. It has been revived. And I think the real important takeaway is that it's still in the headlines, which is not what Harry wants. Right. Um, he's you know, going to have to deal with this. There's, you know, YouTube's going to explode all over again. Newsweek, there's already one article there that you have up on the screen. There are going to be other articles. I'm sure the British papers have already got stuff written up for tomorrow about this. So, so when he thought be... it was over, it's clearly not over. The Heritage clearly Foundation is over. making it very clear even if the judge rules against them here in this, uh, where is my file? In this filing, even if they rule against it uh, and say we're stand, th this this isn't even the official appeal, is what you're telling me? Because I thought this was. This is now sort of the pre-appeal, if you will. An actual exactly. appeal is then going to be immediately on its heels. Heritage Foundation clearly making it f crystal clear: we are not backing down. We were wrong, and it's interesting because it's it's a it's an interesting point, and it's a tough noodle because right, you have information that's supposed to stay. Redact, you know, hidden. It's like it's not supposed to be public information. And so the judge's ruling sort of fell on that, like, well, yeah, here's the I can't tell you why because of this private information. And they're like, well, that nothing happened because, again, we're stuck in the same spot. How is this fair? It's a, it's always been a little bit of a tough case for me because it's like he's got to unredact things that shouldn't be redacted. And so I guess that's my last question. Do you think what the judge got? must have proven him to say, you know what, there's nothing here to really warrant this. So I'm going to keep it redacted and this case is over. Well, it's very hard to say. And I'm, I'm sure the judge did not have an easy time with this either. Um, he has to protect the judicial process. There has to be an open, um, you know, uh, proceeding that everybody has a fair shot at having the correct outcome. But at the same time, he also has to protect the interests of uh, private individuals. And so it's it's a very, very fine line. I'm not at all surprised that there's an issue here that is going to be uh, a source of some some additional litigation. But uh, as I said, it's um, it's 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 not a great day for Prince Harry because this is all going to explode all over again and there's going to be renewed attention. And he's got enough problems to worry about on his own right now without having this sort of, you know, as a dark cloud over his head. Which it and it could been. be all why they're looking for that golden visa. Uh, Megan and Harry just bought the house in uh, near uh, Lisbon. Just real quick, as we wrap up, do you think that could have any bearing on this? Uh, potentially, you know, and I've read conflicting information about exactly what this golden visa um, in Portugal requires. I've, I've seen some reports that say all you have to do is plunk down a bunch of money for real estate. Um, I've seen other reports that say you have to uh, actually bring some capital that you're going to invest into the economy and put it in uh, businesses or stocks or whatever it is. Um, it's not entirely clear. This could It certainly could be driving it. Quite frankly, if I were Prince Harry, um, and based on some of the other activities that he's been involved in and his travel and so forth, and this, this uh, alleged so-called professional divorce or professional separation that he and Meghan Markle have right now, um, I would not be at all surprised if he was weighing a lot of options to figure out how can I get myself out of the United States? I don't care if it's back to the UK. I don't care if it's to Portugal or someplace else. But um, he's certainly not having the warmest welcome in the United States that he might have hoped for several years ago when he came over here. Interesting. You know, can Portugal refuse him after all the uh, reveals this pair? Could, could this case kick up and make other countries make notice and say, you know what, we don't want you in? 
um, you will have to fish around for a Portuguese immigration lawyer because I know <laughs> nothing. Enough. Stay tuned. We will get there. In the meanwhile, if you want to follow John, you can go over on John with Witherspoon DC on Instagram. Give him a follow. Uh, he needs to post more, but eventually I'm going to talk him into it. So thank you, John, as always. Make sure you subscribe here to Palace. Uh, hit that button and then hit the bell. When you hit the bell, hit all. And then when you get those notifications, hit the thumbs up and leave your comments. Help the algorithm. We appreciate you guys. we got so much more coming, so don't go anywhere. Click on these. Stay tuned for more. Hope you guys have a wonderful night.